Could you tell me a little bit about how social media has kind of impacted the way we view the First Amendment as well? Yeah, I mean, I've used the phrase before that I think the First Amendment in today's dialogue is a little bit of a damaged brand that um, people invoke the First Amendment typically when there's a, a crisis going on, when there's a dispute about things like hateful or extreme speech. And so that it, over time, those two things have become associated with one another, right? When you hear First Amendment, you kind of think right away, oh, I know what's coming next. This is going to be neo-Nazi or anti-Semitic speech of some kind, some kind of extreme hateful speech. And of course, the First Amendment protects so much more than that. And it really is what gives the ability to engage in uh, discourse about matters of social and political concern and to kind of move that discourse forward, right? If the government was able to shut down opinions just because they were extreme or non-majoritarian, um, then you, know, you, you couldn't bring about social change, right? Because all social movements depend on being able to say things that are outside of the mainstream or outside of the majority. So, um, you know, I, I do think that uh, because the discourse on social media can get really toxic at times and people can be victimized by trolling and other kinds of antisocial behavior, that it, it does maybe weaken and undermine people's extreme, uh, otherwise extreme adherence to the First Amendment, right? People are sort of willing to compromise their otherwise uh, uh, loyalty to freedom of speech on the grounds that, well, wait a second, um, this goes too far. Uh, uh, this isn't what we meant by freedom of speech. Uh, we didn't mean freedom to troll. Um, and that's a really challenging, and I don't think we have a perfect answer to it. Um, is there a point at which letting some people speak online actually shuts down or silences other people? You know, that's the hardest to me of all free speech issues is when you have a speaker on both sides of the equation. You have speakers trying to be heard, trying to make a point, and other people are trying to shout them down, right? Well, you've got speakers on both sides, and who, who do we uh, put the thumb on the scale in, in favor of? And I think the, the platforms have sort of um, taken a let it all hang out approach, right? Let everybody speak and let the marketplace sort it out. And, Typically, you know, that's their right, right? They also have First Amendment rights. A platform uh, uh, has a First Amendment right to decide what do we host and what do we not host, and, and the government can't dictate what they host and don't host. But yeah, I, I think that it's just going to be a constant kind of a, a, a tweaking process to figure out what's the right amount of speech to let in and what's the right amount of speech to exclude and, and, and what standards should we use.